Welcome back to The Gabby Show. It's time for our segment, Few Minutes with Love Potion. And like always, my friend Maria Garrastegui, owner of lovepotiondiva.com, is here with us. How are you, Maria? I'm doing very good, Gabby. Thank you again for having me here oh, with you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so today's topic is the love languages. And when we say languages, we don't mean words, but more like actions and gestures. That is correct. How do we find what kind of language do we speak when it comes to love? Well, first of all, you do want to discover what is your love language and what is the love language I have to speak in order to communicate my feelings with the person I love. Okay, is there like different types? Yes, there is. There is a variety of love languages. The first one I want to describe to you today is words of affirmation. Words of affirmation, what does that mean? Words of affirmation are those words that will help your loved one to feel more stronger, more secure, and of course it's going to express to that person how you feel towards them. That for them, when you're using words of affirmation like how beautiful you look today, oh, okay. I am so proud to be with you, anything positive. So, so words that would make feel your partner feel good about themselves. Correct. Okay. Those words are actually, when you use these type of words, actually what their brain is listening or hearing is, I love you. Oh, That's okay. their way to know that you really love them. So it's another way to say I love you, pretty that much. That is right, okay. that is right. Another love language is, another topic on love languages is the gifts. The gifts. For some people, receiving or making a gift is their love language, is the way they perceive they're being loved, appreciated, and valued. Any kind of gifts? It could be any type of gift. Does it could matter be, if it's like expensive, cheap? No, it doesn't matter the price of the gift. Okay. It's just the gesture you're having and okay. you're taking time to tell that person, I love you. Okay. It could be something you made home. It could be something you went out to the mall and purchased. It can be just a card and that works anything okay. anything they will see it doesn't matter what you give them for them it's a gift okay. of course we prefer little boxes with a nice bowl but you know it's a gift okay all right another love language is the quality time quality time i think i think i kind of like this one what is this one about <laughs> okay quality time is in many relations people feel that because they're there from Monday to Sunday, 24-7, they are investing quality time with their loved one. It's not like that. If that was the case, we wouldn't feel empty, we wouldn't feel sad, we wouldn't feel frustrated. That is so true. Okay, so things you can do to say I love you to the person that their language is. Quality time, it could be go out to the movies. It could be go down the green walk. It could be canoeing, riding bike, anything okay. that will be taking time for only you and him, us time. And it's like the word says, it's, it's quality time. It's, it's time that is going to be spent in a good way that makes you feel your partner and yourself good. Correct. Okay, it's just so, a date. All right. So we're down to four languages. Do we have more languages? Yes, we do. We have the physical touch. This language is many times not understood the correct way. How come? You say physical touch and a lot of people think it's sexually. Not necessary physical touch means that we need to be intimate. And not only being intimate means that we need to be in bed performing the art of lovemaking. It could be while you're on the table having dinner, you're grabbing his hands. It could be that Aww, while see. you're in a public place, you give him a non-expected hug. It could be that while he's doing the dishes for you. It can be blowing a kiss. Correct. Okay. Correct. It could be that too. 
Okay, so what is the next language? Acts of service. Acts of service is anything that that person is going to do for you. Like maybe cleaning the house a once a month for you, doing the laundry, maybe picking up the kids at the daycare or at school. It's I any, love that one. <laughs> it could be any acts of service. And just have in mind, you could be bilingual, trilingual, it so doesn't you can matter. Have, have one more than one. Language. Correct. You're bilingual. I'm bilingual, so I think <laughs> I have already two languages. <laughs> okay. Well, it's just learning that language that you and that person has or speak, and just being fluent at it. And okay. here we have a lot of products and goodies that we can use towards those languages. That is correct. And I also want to thank you, Skyline Family Restaurant, for making helping me have this nice display today. Okay, um, when we talk about love languages, you're gonna see that on the table. We have a couple of items that can help you express what you want to say. Like these oil massagers, they could work at towards quality time. It could be as quality time. It could be also as physical touch. You can start giving that person a nice massage and then ending up wherever it, it, it goes. It can work as a gift too. It can work as a gift, so exactly. You can choose the language and you can choose which product to use. That is correct. That. And, and, and even one product can talk different languages. You have like the picnic basket. You could go out um, for a walk and maybe he'll surprise you. He'll have a nice um, lunch or dinner in that basket for you. That not only is quality time, that's an act of service and that is also a gift. It could be jewelry. We love jewelry. We love cookies, right? It can be movies. That it can could be quality time. Too. Correct. It could be a game. Not only a video game, it could be a card game or a board game for the room, of course. It could be this nice sex therapy kit for lovers. That kit includes a big variety of things, of items, products that will actually spice up your intimate life and also make stronger that bond between you and that loved one. Anything in the table from lingerie, from coupons, anything, a candle, even homemade gifts, words of affirmation, it could be a notebook, it could be a book, something that will also help the relation, make that relation stronger and just get rid of the weakness or the insecurities, sometimes not speaking the right language can provide. Okay, so we have a lot of options here. Now, if we want to buy any of these products, how can they do it? You can always go to www.lovepotiondiva.com and just there is a great big selection of products that will help you speak your language. Don't forget it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And also, if you want to send any questions, concerns, or if you want us to talk about any topic that you guys would like to know more about, you can send us an email to thegabbyshowtv at gmail.com or to you, Maria, at lovepotiondiva at live.com. Okay, well, thank you so much, Maria. I think we've learned a lot about different languages and maybe people will apply it to their relationships. That is correct. Hopefully that will be the case. Don't forget you heard it from Love Potion Diva where we're casting love spells all around the world. Missiles. Okay, thank you so much and we'll be right back.